Welcome to the new season of your favorite Croatian adventure. In this episode, we'll explore the charming region of Tsavtat Konavle and Dubrovnik, where the crystal clear Adriatic Sea meets rich history. We'll stroll through Tsavtat's peaceful streets, enjoy the scenic Konavle countryside, and experience Dubrovnik's vibrant old town. This stunning part of Croatia offers a perfect blend of natural beauty, culture, and tradition. Let the adventure begin! entering Croatia, Tsavtat serves as the first port of entry. It provides convenient customs and border control facilities, allowing you to efficiently complete the necessary formalities before continuing your nautical adventure along the stunning Adriatic coastline. Konavle region is the most southern part of uh, Croatia uh, and it's one of the municipalities within Dubrovnik Neretva county. It stretches from uh, Tsavtat, the place where we are now, up to the border to Montenegro. Konavle region is a region with all shades of uh, blue and green. Uh, blue in the littoral and uh, green in the rural part of uh, Konavle, where Cyprus, with all its shades of green, is kind of a symbol of uh, Konavle, of the region. Our season starts uh, in uh, Eastern time and ends uh, in the end of October, uh, mid-November. Uh, and during that period we make about uh, 750,000 overnights and each year we are facing an uh, increase in tourist numbers. This is not uh, surprising because our region really has a lot to offer to all our visitors, starting from uh, cultural historical uh, heritage, from Illyrian, Greek, Roman times up to the times of Dubrovnik Republic, who bought this region in 15th century and made of it Konavle, the rural part is a granary, and um, Tsavtat, uh, its uh, second most important center, who played a very important role in uh, the social life of the Republic itself. It is not too surprising that our numbers are increasing each year, because uh, in 2019 Tsavtat was elected as one of top 10 uh, European best destinations and only two years later in top three uh, European best destinations. So it is really a destination for everyone. Don't miss the chance to visit Haus Bukovac in Tsavtat, the birthplace and museum of renowned painter Vlaho Bukovac. Explore his works and learn about his life in this beautifully preserved historic home. Welcome to the Bukovac house. This is the birthplace of one of the most famous Croatian painters, Slaha Bukovac. He was born in 1855 and he died in 1922. He had a restless spirit and was interested in everything, spending his time in various jobs and different countries. The beginning of his painting career is linked to his stay in San Francisco. He stayed for about five years in San Francisco uh, and that's actually when he decided that he wanted to become a painter but still the best uh, teachers of art were in Europe. So when he was 22, yet again, he returned back home and he found a sponsor here in uh, Tsavtat, actually from Dubrovnik, uh, who sponsored him to go to Paris. In Paris, he got into the art school. Uh, he studied there for about three years and afterwards stayed for about 12 more years. The Paris Salon, thanks to its exceptionally long exhibition tradition and its grandiose presentations, became the most important European art event of the 19th century. During his 17-year stay in Paris, Vlaho Bukovac regularly exhibited at the Paris Salon, debuting as early as 1878 as a student of the Paris Académie des Beaux-Arts. He drew inspiration from antiquity and the motif that gave his work their distinctive signature was hands. He encapsulated all his mastery in the work Gundulic's Dream. 
He strongly influenced the younger generation of painters and is considered the founder of Croatian modern painting. He encouraged the construction of the art pavilion in Zagreb and establishment of the Society of Croatian Artists. Another unmissable detail that will catch your eye is the impressive mausoleum at the Zaptat Cemetery. It was built by one of the most famous Croatian sculptor Ivan Mestrovic between 1920 and 1922 for a ship-owning family from um, Zaptat. The mausoleum is very specific. It's built in the Art Deco style and it was actually the first architectural building uh, made by Ivan Meštrović because back then he was just known for being a sculptor. So later on when he finished that he even got an award in 1925 in Paris for, for the work and he decided that he should do some more architectural works. Uh, it's very specifically built, uh, it has a lot of uh, symbolism throughout it. The interior of the mausoleum is equally captivating, featuring a domed ceiling adorned with angelic figures and a serene chapel-like atmosphere. The diving center in Zaptat offers an exceptional diving experience in the crystal clear waters of the Adriatic Sea. Known for its professional and friendly staff, the center provides a range of diving courses for all levels, from beginners to advanced divers. Explore fascinating underwater sites, including vibrant coral reefs, ancient shipwrecks, and diverse marine life. We offer all water sports like uh, parasailing, uh, tubes, uh, rent a jet ski, uh, boat transfers and of course diving. Uh, we have very very nice few location which is one of the best in Croatia I think so. There's two biggest antique sites. One is with 1800 amphoras and another one is with uh, big pitos or dolium. Pitos dolium is from second century before the Christ and each pitos is about 2000 liter. It is only one on all Mediterranean Sea, where you can see hold them, not broken. You can rent all equipment we, we offer and the night trucks, then we can all support for uh, technical divers, so we have all what you need for diving. With state-of-the-art equipment and personalized attention, this diving center ensures a safe and unforgettable adventure beneath the waves. Whether you're looking to start your diving journey or seeking to discover new depths, this diving center is a perfect choice. Two months ago, we took the certificate for UNESCO, one of 13 in the world, for protection of that uh, archaeology sites. In our shows, we always strive to present high-quality, authentic restaurants that pay exceptional attention to their guests and the use of local, healthy ingredients. One of the best examples we found is in Saftat, at a family restaurant that offers only the best of the best in local and healthy cuisine. The owner, Anna Vragolov, will tell us more about it. Today we set a table with food that is traditional to this area. It's very authentic, uh, so I'm going to shortly present you what are we having today. Uh, the most important thing to mention is that everything you see on the table is from our sea, from local fishermen, and all the vegetables that we use in our kitchen are from our garden. Here you can see a smoked mackerel, wild mussels, not farmed, but from our sea, with parsley, garlic and white wine sauce. Also, we have our own Pedron peppers, which are made with a little bit of olive oil, honey and mint. Here you can see our zucchini blossom flowers, which are filled with ricotta and some lemon. Also, a nice selection of tuna, beautiful fish with baby carrots. Here you can see the fish grilled on our own grill here in our restaurant. Also, here are the premium baby squids that are caught here in the Adriatic Sea and come to our restaurant 
uh, as soon as the fisherman catches on the boat, the first call is, okay guys, come pick it up, it's time to feed the people. Here also we have uh, uh, currently a spicy tuna pate, but also have a selection of, the, of other ones. Everything, as I mentioned before, is homegrown, locally produced, and uh, farm to table is the policy of the restaurant. And uh, so far we keep going and growing, and supporting local people from Konavle and Savtat area and feeding all of you guys that come here. In addition to top quality food and friendly staff, restaurant guests can enjoy a fantastic ambiance and a view of the beautiful bay, which offers an unforgettable atmosphere in the evening hours. ACM Marina Dubrovnik is located in place Komolec, which is near to the Rijeka Dubrovačke closely. And it's a perfect position because it's uh, located only six kilometers from the old city of Dubrovnik, which is a perfect point for visiting all around the tourists that, goes, that comes around. What is convenient here, because uh, the old historical center Dubrovnik is, uh, is easy connected with local noise taxi and local bus. We have two connections just here in front of the marina, so you can easily connect to the old city just by 10 minutes of driving. We have 500 birds, and, and which uh, 380 of them are in the wet bird, and we have 120 places on the dry dock. So they have all convenience to maintain and keep the vessels during the whole year here. And especially the dry dock, uh, we have two dry docks. One is small for the small boat, and one is big for the big boat. So we can maintain the big uh, vessels up to the 45 meters. This is really one convenient, and the guests can choose between three craft uh, because they have uh, the biggest one uh, is 130 tons. And this is really convenient because uh, much uh, the, the big boats they can approach here, and this we are with these services we have here. We are the one of the main uh, marina in the South Adriatic Sea, uh, so they can use all the facilities here to maintain their boats. And especially we have six service centers, and you can they can use from uh, lifting the boat, everything, also the electricity, all the maintenance they can have point here, and also we have here from the local uh, nautical store, so they can use all the equipment they can use to buy here and to do it all here in, in the marina. So marina can offer to guests the offers of three top quality restaurants. We have one here in the pool, so it's really comedy because especially for the guests who have little children, they can enjoy to the pool, sit all around. It's a lot more like a lunch place to enjoy. And also they have live music in the evening, so if they want, they can start to dance. So it's really nice to spend whole day from morning till the night. And we have also a nice, really nice restaurant here in front because uh, we have a uh, the owner is who is a local butcher, so if you like to meet, you can enjoy, you can really have uh, the best food, I think, with meat in the city. And the last restaurant really here next to the reception, which is closed, they can enjoy to drink coffee in the morning, and they can try the local food. They find it here and they prepare it with local food, with local groceries, and on the really specific domestic way, so the people really enjoy that. And the guests really like this, so they come back, especially looking for the same food they eat like the seven, seven days ago, so we are really happy to have them back to enjoy all these amenities here. we say about Dubrovnik that hasn't already been said or sung in numerous songs and films. Perhaps the best introduction can be given by the director of the Dubrovnik Tourist Board, Miroslav Drashkovic. Dubrovnik is uh, the biggest brand in, the, in Croatian tourism and as, as such, of course, Dubrovnik is uh, doing quite a lot uh, to um, uh, manage uh, the people that are arriving to Dubrovnik and the visitors arriving to Dubrovnik. Not only a cultural center, Dubrovnik is also very important as a nautical uh, port. Uh, we have two marinas, one is within uh, the, the two are within the city limits, but one is closer to the center, uh, quite visited. Dubrovnik is a bit different than others because simply being such a big cultural center of all, of all the area, it always was attracting people interested in, in different things, uh, which means that uh, Dubrovnik tourist season uh, is quite long, which is very good for us, of course. We are working quite a lot on shoulder seasons, uh, because obviously the, the summer season and the peak of the summer season is well visited. Uh, we uh, think that we have enough to offer during the winter months as well as uh, spring months and, and autumn months. And we would really like to welcome anyone uh, wishing to come to Dubrovnik in this part of the year because we find that possibly the best 
outlook yes, for the people to see as much as possible in Dubrovnik is if they come in this part of the year. Uh, Dubrovnik has a lot of museums, has a lot of galleries. Uh, Dubrovnik Tourist Board along with Dubrovnik City is organizing quite a lot of different events, concerts, and uh, we uh, are doing whatever we can to provide as much uh, of the entertainment to the, to the travelers as possible. Uh, of course, uh, all these events uh, are also aimed to entertain the people outside the main season. Uh, the main season, as in all other tourist resorts in Croatia and worldwide, are aimed to the beaches, uh, to the people going to the beach, and we, uh, you know, we, we feel that that's good enough because obviously the people um, uh, arriving uh, in the peak of the season are also of the different segment. Uh, the people arriving in pre and post season are mostly interesting on uh, visiting things, on seeing things, on learning new things about, about the destination, about Dubrovnik, and this is what we are encouraging. Like every modern tourist city in the world, Dubrovnik has its own app for visitors, making it easier, faster and more affordable to visit numerous attractions. The Bromnik City Pass uh, as an app, uh, a digital uh, city card, we could, we could call it, is uh, very interesting, very good and very competitive, I think, because it provides uh, the possibility uh, for the visitors to visit many, many, all the museums basically in, uh, in uh, Dubrovnik at the same price as the, the entrance to the city wall only uh, is. Uh, this is the best uh, value uh, city card uh, I think uh, in Croatia and we really see uh, are seeing the, the increase in sales of the Bromnik City City Pass every every year. Uh, we uh, also uh, realized that uh, people are visiting broader uh, choice of, of museums and visiting more with the Bromnik Pass because obviously uh, the Bromnik Pass is offering uh, that as well as offering uh, some of the museums outside of the city limits of Dubrovnik, as we have included the museums and insti cultural institutions also in uh, neighbor neighboring communities. Igor Haider Hodzic is a multifaceted talent, renowned as an actor, musician and artist. With a career spanning several decades, he has captivated audiences with his versatile performances on stage and screen. His musical prowess and artistic creativity further showcase his exceptional range. My name is Igor Haider Hodzic, and I am an actor by profession. I have participated in various productions, spending my entire life in theater and numerous times in films. However, I have also been involved in professional music, and while I cannot account for all of it, I have spent most of my life modeling and working on boats. I've been fascinated by traditional shipbuilding, self-building, and most often recycling and upcycling. That is, discarded and ruined items are always the most valuable. And I noticed this very early on and began to deal with what some would consider trash. Now, in Dubrovnik and beyond, especially in the Roma community, I am known as the king of trash, as I have collected discarded items that were once very valuable, antiques and so on. Since trading is not something that interests me because it takes up my time, I began to use these collected items to build boats out of antiques, and somehow I became well known for this. Today, these boats can be found in various marketplaces. We have a gallery in Hamburg, a city that loves the sea and boats, where we exhibit our works. I'm fascinated by islands, especially those around Dubrovnik, so we are active there as well. For years I've been running small shipbuilding schools with children. Now that I am older, I have dedicated myself more to production. I have found a partner in my friend Vieko, without whom this would not be possible. Essentially, I have someone who can bring my ideas to life. Lopud Island, a jewel in the Elafiti archipelago, is a dream destination for sailors and nautical enthusiasts. Settled in the Azer waters of the Adriatic Sea, just a short sail from Dubrovnik, this charming island offers an ideal escape for sailors seeking serenity and natural beauty. 
As you approach Lopud, the first sight of its lush greenery and pristine coastline will captivate you. The island's charm lies in its unspoiled nature, with no cars to disturb the peace. Lopud is a haven for those who appreciate the simple pleasures of life, the gentle lapping of waves, the scent of pine trees, and the warmth of the Mediterranean sun. For those who love to explore, Lopud offers numerous hidden coves and secluded beaches, perfect for anchoring and swimming in crystal clear waters. Shun Beach, with its soft golden sands, is one of the island's treasures and a favorite spot for sunbathers and swimmers alike. The gentle slope of the beach makes it ideal for families, while the surrounding greenery provides natural shade, making it perfect for a full day of relaxation. Lopud's rich history and cultural heritage add to its allure. The 15th century Franciscan monastery is a must-see, offering a glimpse into the island's past. The Church of St. Mary, with its beautiful bell tower, stands as a testament to the island's religious heritage. As you wander through the ruins of medieval fortifications, you can almost feel the history seeping through the stones, telling tales of times long gone. The island also boasts beautiful botanical gardens, a testament to its lush, verdant landscape. These gardens are home to a variety of Mediterranean flora, offering a feast for the senses with their vibrant colors and fragrant scents. The well-maintained paths make it easy to explore the gardens, and the occasional benches provide a perfect spot to sit and soak in the natural beauty. For those interested in local culture, Lopud Village offers several small art galleries and shops selling handmade crafts and souvenirs. The local artisans take pride in their work, and you can find unique items that reflect the island's heritage and creativity. The newly restored Duke's Palace showcases exquisite architecture and rich history, making it a must-visit destination. As evening falls, the island takes on a magical quality. The setting sun paints the sky with hues of orange and pink, casting a warm glow over the landscape. As dark clouds begin to gather, signaling an approaching storm, the atmosphere becomes even more captivating for sailors. The harbor remains calm and secure, offering a safe haven for your vessel. The island's lights reflect off the gently rippling waters, creating a serene ambiance. The wind picks up slightly, bringing a refreshing coolness. The island's main settlement, Lopud Village, welcomes visitors with its picturesque harbor, lined with charming stone houses and vibrant bougainvillea. The village exudes a sense of timelessness with its narrow winding streets and traditional architecture. Dock your boat and stroll along the waterfront promenade, where you can enjoy a leisurely meal at one of the seaside restaurants, savoring fresh seafood and local delicacies. The ambiance is enhanced by the gentle sound of the waves and the occasional live music, creating a perfect setting for a memorable dining experience. The specialties of this region include fresh seafood as well as premium fish caught in these waters. Welcome to our restaurant, fish restaurant local by the sea on the island Loput. Very famous with some fresh fish. Usually work a lot with the fish, lobsters, some scampi, scallops, shrimps, everything from the sea. Local Mediterranean cuisine. We will show you what we have for today and explain everything. We will serve you some cold appetizers, some octopus carpaccio, some swordfish carpaccio, octopus salad, marinated anchovies, some fresh tuna tartare with a fresh avocado. This is shellfish cooked in a fresh tomato sauce, white wine and the garlic. Inside we have some fresh scampi, shrimps, mussels and the sea scallops. This meal we call Loput Buzara. This is homemade pasta, hand-rolled pasta with some fresh meat of scampi, clean. We clean out the meat and make with some fresh truffles. As our journey through Loput Island, Dubrovnik and Saftat Konavle comes to an end, 
We hope you've been inspired by the breathtaking landscapes, rich history, and vibrant culture of this stunning region. From the serene beaches of Lopud to the ancient walls of Dubrovnik and the charming villages of Tsaftat Konavle, each destination offers its own unique charm and unforgettable experiences. Thank you for joining us on this adventure. We invite you to explore these beautiful locations firsthand and create your own memories in this enchanting corner of the Adriatic. Until next time, smooth sailing!